All right guys, so I'm gonna do a different kind of video today. I'm gonna to go on a guided catfishing trip. And we were gonna go on the Missouri, but it stormed all day today. Uh, well, it stormed for the last three or four hours. And so we decided we're gonna, we're here at Longview Lake. I've never been on a guided trip fishing like anything, let alone catfish. So this is gonna be really exciting for me. A little bit of a cold front did come in, but you know, it started off closer to 90, 95. It's been very, very hot here, but um, you know, we're in the, I think the 70s right now. It feels amazing. So we're gonna see what we can get. All right guys, so Casey Rodbenders, they're gonna show me, uh, and they're the ones that invited me and I appreciate them. They show me what they do. It was so nice not having to get all my poles and bait and everything ready. To see if anything's biting tonight. All lakes have a thermocon at some level. The water down here is actually hotter than the water up here. So the water up the top has more oxygen than the water down low. So in the fall, they'll say, oh, the lake's turning over. So then the fish will go deeper because then the cold water is down deep and the hot water's up top. Okay. See it? Oh, wow, that's cool. Yeah, I don't, it's the old bridge. See, uh, 60 foot. Look at that, isn't that cool? 60 foot down. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you can see it just like it's standing oh, yeah. right in front of you. And then look at all the fish are on top of it. Sitting right there on this thermocline right on top of it. All right, guys, about to catch some live bait. One big one. Pretty big one. Yeah. yeah. That's something. There we go. Big old shad. Come on, here to the live well with him. There we go. That'll get us started, eh? And then first row. Yeah. Just to keep on alive long enough. When we get there, so we're going to be fishing. Throw once and done. And have probably bait for four or five trips. One, two. Just one or two. Hey, one or two at a time. Do that a few times. We're, hey, we're, good, to, we're, we're good to go. And this one, stack of full bleach something. Huge. Look at that. Yeah, I got four or five. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh, yeah. Stay alive, guys. So, you, you, you like the three way? We do. Well, this is a tandem rig, so we got two baits uh, per, per rod, usually, on the smaller rods, and then we'll have one big live bait on a three way. Like sometimes I use rattles, but not that much in the lake. Have you noticed anything with rattles? Like, I know a lot of people are talking about that now. Like, they either like them or they don't that day. So I usually have, even like especially in the river, I'll have some rods that have them and some that don't, and we'll adjust accordingly to whatever they're doing that day. It's just missing the black face. It's just not hit or miss, really. Yeah, some days they they won't hit anything except you know, the ones that have the rattles on them, and the next day they may not hit anything that has a rattle on it. Huh. It's not like any consistent pattern that I've noticed, but I usually have some that some with and some without, for sure. Uh, look, all my rods are sitting there, they're not tangled up. I'm gonna go take a look at these rods, see what yeah. you did over here. So these are the glow sticks I was talking about, and they uh, actually have a battery in them. Mm -hmm. They're not no Halloween special. <laughs> 12 or 15 hours and switch the batteries out. We just leave them on the rod tips. So this is the actual glow stick. Oh, that's... Man, that's easy peasy. Once you get them on there, obviously... This that is really cool. One reason why we leave them on. Next that is... That is a cool find right there. And then this is what it looks like. Of course, with the light off. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's like Christmas time out here. They don't have that yell in their eyes. Don't even use it. it ain't worth it. That's, that, they listen when they start losing the oils and stuff. But if they still got a little yellow tint. They're good. Well, it's good to see some yellow then. Or that's my opinion. Anyway, doesn't mean it's right, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> 
and I hook them in front. Most of the time, fish is gonna uh, uh, fish is gonna hit eat a live bait head first. Mm -hmm. So therefore, so you hook them in the front. I hook them in the front, right below that lateral line, right above it. I'm sorry, I said below. But right the boat maybe. Channel cat. Nice. Nice. Thanks, All shit. right. Skunks out. We had to get him out. Mm -hmm. And it's about to turn on. Oh, I think it is. I hope so. This is a female. She's fat too. Healthy. Yeah. yeah still got a couple spots on her. Clean. Nothing on her. We'll let the old girl go. Maybe they're, yeah. they're waking up a little bit. It's bre so. breakfast time. All right. Thank you, ma'am. Uh-oh, I gotta catch up with him now. He's running? Yep. There we go. Uh-oh. I see gun is running straight to me. Oh, yeah. Now he's going back towards the sticks back there. Uh-oh. What do you got? Ooh, nice. Big old channel, it looks like. Am I in your line, Brown? I'm sorry. I really couldn't help you. Oh. Big old channel. All right, here we go. One, two, and three. I think they are gonna wake up and bite. Well, look how long. Look how long. He is long. long. He is long. Well, let's see here. Yeah. Let me get this. It is right at eight, eh? Okay. There you go. We appreciate it. There you go. Go the other way. Other way. We're gonna go see if we can get an early morning bite at this other spot uh, that we were at just a little while ago, but. It's been a nice night, two fish. Let's see if we can get on a couple more. Got two little points, got a point here that comes off and a big steep drop off that we're coming up to. And then it's just got this shallow flat that's all along that point. It's usually full of shad. If it's full of shad, we're gonna fish there. Okay. All right, all right. We're gonna try this point here. You've actually had a snake come up in the boat? I've had a snake drop from a tree into the boat. That was kind of... Oh, damn. That, that, that was a little different because I totally didn't expect that, but... Oh. I see bait fish jumping around the water out here already, so... Go for it. Oh. Oh, come on, let's double up. Let's double up, man. Come on, you got ready? Come on. I got mine. All right. Let's double it up. Can we triple it up? Triple? Wow, well, it feels like a, he's just swimming this way. Mine has tangled up at least. All right, let's see here. I'm gonna try and get this one in before it hits anything else. All right. Oh, wait, it got them all tangled up, but then got them untangled? That a girl. Nice way to go, double. Heck yeah. Nice Yours is bigger. <laughs> he wanted that. Yeah. Nice. All right. Doubles and. Doubles, doubles. Double doubles. Awesome looking channels. Yeah. And what was this? Is, uh, was it on the? Uh, shad. Cut shad. Cut shad. Yep. So. And I, the, as the sun's starting. Oh, yeah. Well, it's just not the sun. Not the sun. Not the sun That's yet. Daybreak. Not the sun yet, but it, it's starting to get light out here. So let's right. see if we can get some more. All right, old girl. Let you go. Well, oh, that way. Oh wait, I threw my GoPro in. For for me, I feel like there's almost like like one to three is like a oh like a weird time where I, I'm just I'm almost waiting till like three thirty or four, but mm -hmm. I think. It might be just because I'm in a, in a spot that it doesn't have fish, but the fish go through at certain times. I'll tell you a fun fact about teal. They're the only waterfowl that migrates based off the time, the length of day. You know that? I did not know that. Yeah, see, you learned something here, though. I did, I did learn that. Teal are the only ones that do that. I, I thought... I feel like I don't. I don't have to fact check you. I feel like you, you know. You. I feel like you know what you're talking about. Your time fact check. 
It would be. Because I was shocked when I found out a couple years ago. <laughs> are, are you getting? Here. Oh, I got another one in my hand already over here. This one is a little bit. I feel it. Well, he he hit it like he was a little bit a better fish. Let's see. There's some bigger channel catfish in this lake. There really is. Yeah. All right. Did he come off? Did he come off? No. He's coming straight at you. I think. Oh, he went to that direction. I'm gonna. I'm gonna get. Oh, he, oh, he's not in that. He's not in that one. Not yet. We already did that once today, right? Okay, we're not in the yellow. This will be number seven. Oh, it feels a little oh, nice. More, more angry as he comes in. Huh? Oh, I did get oh, some line. I don't know what, which line that is, because. Uh, looks like somebody. That's not in your mouth. It looks like. Oh, he's not really bigger. I just thought he was. He's meaner. He. You want these needles? Definitely. You know what? Last time I went out, I, yeah, I might, my, I might need this. So. There it is. Here we go. This guy. Oh, that's a good looking, a healthy one too. <laughs> yeah, let's set this down for a second. Look at him from. You know, it's been actually kind of fun. You know, like this is, uh, you know, catch, catching channel. It's been. It's good fun. It is. Takes the stress out of having to catch a big one all the time. Yeah, you know, and they're fun. To, they're, that was a fun fight, actually. That was that was a lot of fun. So, all right, I think they're biting right now. So, I think well, there's a leg down in Wichita, well near Wichita, El Dorado. Man, that's a fun little lake to fish. Because if I pull it off, then guess what I got to do. You ever spool back up? Right yeah, and you, you can't have one that's not spooled up. I think I got two slime cat reels at home that I was unable to repair. Then I'll just probably get the braid off of those. It's that white crown braid. How were uh, slime? I saw those at the convention. I went one year to the cat con. Were they? They lasted uh, me about a year and a half. And then I replaced the paws in them, which is the same as I did with these. That's the little thing that goes inside the worm and makes it go side to side. Yeah. So if you ever get line that stays on one side all the time, mm -hmm. it's Paul, P A W L. Four dollar part that'll save you from buying a new reel. Literally, it takes about thirty seconds to change it. There's a little bitty nut right there. You take that off with a flathead screwdriver, mm -hmm. turn it over, paw falls out, put the new paw in, screw that on there, and you're done. Oh, so you don't, you don't even really have to take the entire no. reel up. <laughs> no, like it's literally a $4 part in 30 seconds of your life. Wow. It's, it's, but a lot of people don't know that, so they just go buy a new reel, and they don't have to. No. Wherever the bait fish are, there so shall be the big fish. Yeah, mm. Amen. I see shining. Oh yeah, big ones are bigger. Yeah, we're good now. Let's go. Let's oh, go fish. Yeah. Let's go fish. That's what we wanted. That's what we wanted. You're exactly right. 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 Let's Great. go to the live well though. Let's keep them alive. Live well, live well. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Why not? Let's. Yeah, they're gonna hurt. Throw go a couple of live big daddies out there in the last minute. This is a cool spot, right? I mean, even right here, because you get like the view of the entire lake. So there's deep, deep water on either side right here. Six feet deep here. So six feet, eight feet. But it doesn't get a whole lot deeper. All the way out. Until, and then it drops off steep. When you see these lines really close together. Yeah. And they're steep drop offs. So, okay, so on either side, there's some pretty good steep drop offs. Mm -hmm. Hey, uh, no, that's a medium action rod. But... Mm -hmm. You feeling a little like he's a little serious? Oh, we got one on. It didn't take long. What is it? I see what you're going to do over here. What if that goes off too? How are you going to reel both of them? I want to 
see that. Actually, that helping you. actually, let me tell you. What is it? Is it a flat? Blue. Blue. No. What? So, here we go, folks. Here's a male channel. Hey, wait, wait, wait. Oh, uh, 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 oh. oh, guys, look, almost again. <laughs> almost again. <laughs> oh, here we have the great debate. This is usually called a blue by yeah, a lot of people. A it is a male channel. How many anal fins do you have, sir? <laughs> okay. Yeah, that is a mean old channel cat male. You can see how skinny he is from the spawn. He should be about, probably at least, probably that wide. Hmm. All right, filler. Back home, we got a fish going on over here. We just got fish everywhere. Yeah. Fish everywhere. I mean, oh. this has been fun. They're back yeah, here. This is, uh, this is some fun this stuff. This kind of takes you back to your childhood. Like an old cow pond or something. Catch a channel cat. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at that. Forker. Yeah, he's out there. He's eating killing his, it. He's living his best life eating shad. Every time I leave a spot, like I'm just like, I should have I should have gone to the other side, like the other side of the dam. They were there, over there. But yeah. some days, some days it just doesn't matter what you do. They're just not gonna fight. But some days it don't matter what you do. They won't fail. But that's gonna be a good one to end on, I believe. Though you gonna need the net there, sir. Oh, nice. Oh, shit. Oh God, I got that now you are. Oh, nothing. He's only hit the prop. No prop. Let's see, you gonna boat flip that one? Let's see what you got. I don't think you can. All right, you do, you better, you better do it quick. Let's see, let's test that Berkeley big game. I think for the day, huh? for the trip, the night, the trip, the that's a good one to end on. Yeah, honestly, it's my anniversary. If I don't go home, I may be in big trouble. There you go, sir. They like ludicrous. Point of the mouth, right where he's supposed to get caught at. They're still on there. That was the live one. What you got there? Twelve? No, that's kilos. It's my anniversary. I can do what I want. We'll round up today. <laughs> <laughs> huh. No, that is a, that's a feisty one. Yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. so, remember that last one was darker. That's a female. That's a big old one. Big old one. I mean, I, I really thought we had their flathead. Thought we had I mean, it. it was swirling out there like something was going on. But oh, we finally had it. I tell you what, we would have had a mess had we been keeping fish. Uh, yeah, we'd have a lot of fish. We got fish fry going on, but we turn them loose so somebody else can enjoy them another day. I don't need any right now. All right, guys. So we are officially leaving. We, we've, I think we've done about 12, 13 fish tonight, but it was a great night. All right, I'm gonna pull this anchor. Guys, I needed that. That was a fun night. We're done. We're gonna head back to the boat ramp and uh, call it a night, call it a day, whatever it was. But it's been fun getting things ready cleaned up so we're, we're cleaning up the boat a little bit we're getting ready to leave and look at the bait that we have left over man just some of the, the bait that you just wish you had on certain nights just getting thrown back in the water All right, guys. Well, I just want to thank uh, Olin at Rod Benders. Uh, he does guiding, and he took me out, uh, obviously, on this last trip, and it was awesome. It was fun. I'm going to put his website in the link below uh, in the description. Also, I'm going to go ahead and put a list of different uh, things that he does and his phone number in the description as well. I just want to say thank you. It's been fun. It was fun. A guided trip is all about, like, if you can get along with somebody and if they're, like, knowledgeable and he's he's got so much knowledge and he knew exactly where to go and where, what to hit and so um if you guys want to get out on a guided trip i would highly suggest olin and casey rob benders i definitely needed it um haven't been out in a while appreciate it thank you all you bet man whether it be get out on the missouri river and catch monsters 
or, or get out on say Longview Lake like we did and and just be catching channel catfish left and right he loves what he does he's funny we laughed a lot um, and that to me was so important and I just I needed that I, I I know he does some some overnight camping things too or late night or in the morning he was crappie um, you know channel catfish uh, if you want a monster flathead or blue go ahead give him a call book an appointment he's awesome